In this Caden Live tutorial I will show you how to create a slideshow complete with fade transitions between each image. Before opening Caden Live, I recommend that you save the images that you want to use in a separate folder. If you place your pointer in this project tree to the left of the screen and then right click and left click add clip, you can navigate to the folder by left clicking on the button at the top when it's pointing up and then when you get to the folder you want to open using your left mouse double click and again double click on the folder that you've uh, saved your images in Now this is one of the problems as you can see here you can't see what the images look like um, so as I said before it's worth saving the images you want to use in a separate folder and then just simply hold your left mouse down drag your mouse to select all of your images and then at the bottom right left click open and this will bring all of your images into this project tray. While these are loading up, look for the button that says Project Monitor because at present if you play it will only play them from here, it won't play the um, images or film in this timeline. So as I said before, left click on Project Monitor. Now once your images have loaded in this project tray, place your pointer over an image, hold down your left mouse button and drag an image into the timeline. Now I've created this one which says Caden Live Slideshow Tutorial. Now the first thing you need to think about is how long you want your clips to last. So if you were to play this one now, you'll see here it says 4.24 seconds. So I want to have about two seconds in between each clip where they fade from one to the other on the, and about four seconds of um, clip with no fade in between. So what I'm going to do is place my pointer over this and double click using my left mouse button. What you'll see it actually says 5 seconds. It's one of these strange things it differs from this to this up here. So where it says 5 just left click on the 5 and as I said I'm going to make it 2 seconds of fade out but 4 seconds of clip before. So I'm going to just type 6 and left click OK. Now I recommend if you do, um, because of the way I, I do this, you bring a clip uh, an image in that you don't want to use or as I'm going to do, I'm going to just bring this end clip in or this end image and what I'm going to do is again with my left mouse, bring it to the second video line, with my left mouse I'm going to just double click and change it to 4 seconds. So it says 5, I'm going to just left click and press 4 or type 4 and then left click OK and that gives me my 4 seconds. OK. So left click on your first image and bring it into your timeline. Now I'm going to change this to so I've so I want two seconds in, 
four seconds no uh, fade and then two seconds fade out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click again where it says five I'm going to type eight and then left click OK so I'm going to drag this down so it marries up to this four second end clip here so just slide it so it comes up to this end or this spare image that you're going to use and I'm going to drag using my left mouse button and my mouse this to the top and slide it up against this one using my left mouse button I'm going to drag this clip in or this image in and I'm going to drag it so it lines up with this first image or first proper image that we brought in that's eight seconds long and then with my pointer on the right hand edge I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and I'm going to drag this clip so it is at the same time I'm going to drag this clip down up to the top so it matches up to this end or what is this end image then I'm going to drag this image down and put it there I'm going to dump this one in here no I'm not, I'm going to bring it down to the bottom first as I did before and line it up so that it's the same length as all the other ones I'm just going to keep doing this can take a little bit of time it depends on how many clips you've got Right, now we've got all these clips in, um, all these images in, and have changed them uh, to the lengths we want. So, if you left click on the timeline arrow, just drag this out to towards the end, and then just press play. Wait till it runs to the end and stops. Now this is telling me that this at present is one minute and five seconds long so I'm going to change this down so I want a two second fade out so I'm going to change the five second parts yours will be different to three and hit return and this will bring this pointer back by two seconds I'm going to drag this end um, image that I've got here I'm going to double click using my left mouse button and I'm going to change that to six seconds and I'm going to drag this back so that it lines up with this timeline marker finally to get the um, crossfade left click in each corner of the top images and you'll see these transition markers appear now if you take your um, timeline marker to the beginning and press play you should find hopefully you've got a simple slideshow 
with a fade in and out of all of the images. Once you're happy with your slideshow, top of the screen, look for the button that says Render, left click on it. Decide what um, format you're going to use. I'm going to use MPEG 2 and then look for the folder that says Open File Dialog, left click on it and your um, slideshow will be saved in the um, Caden Live uh, folder by default. Just for now what I'm going to do is actually just put it on my desktop freeze and I'm going to call this Caden Live slideshow that I'll do. Left click on OK. We've got no sound so don't have to worry about that. So bottom left of this um, display panel, left click render to file. And you'll get a timeline come up here which will tell you how long it's going to uh, take. And this is telling me it's 1 minute and 32 seconds on MPEG 2 it lies, it'll probably say more like about 3 or 4 minutes so once it's finished rendering I'll come back to this uh, tutorial once your uh, video's uh, finished rendering simply just left click on this remove job button and then left click on close and hopefully should have very simple slideshow with transitions in between. Thank you for watching.